not because of me. The dead, because the Maroonies and Gigantes got the power to take you out. The Penguin has done more than just elevate that character within the Matt Reeves Batverse. It has elevated characters like Sophia Falcone, Gigante, and Victor Aguilar. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. I'm James Banks for stopping by. A special shout out to all of our new subscribers. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 4,000. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. Also got to point out spoilers for the Penguin Show. So if you're not cut up with the first six episodes, hit the pause button, go watch it, and I'll see you in six hours. They're going to talk about this night. You know, the time that we decided that it's better to work with the ones we hate than live under those that... They don't even know our name! The penultimate episode of The Penguin is a few short hours away, and I want to talk about a few theories that I've seen roll in the comments and discuss the characters of Sophia and Victor. What is their purpose in this show? Are they here just to die? Are they here just to be a foil for Oz and a sidekick to Oz? I've been theorizing from the get-go that Victor is to Penguin what Jason Todd is to Batman. He's that type of character. And Sophia Falcone, now Gigante, is something far worse. And I've thought from day one that she wasn't going to make it to the end of the show. And honestly, none of you are any different. But as this series progresses... I'm changing my tune on that. I think there's a really good chance she's going to make it out of this series alive. I don't think she's going to be in a good place whatsoever. I don't think she's in a good place now, but I don't think she's going to be in a good place when this show ends either. Possibility that she's going to end up in Arkham. But today I want to talk about the idea that both of these characters could survive this series and make their way into the Batman 2. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. That being said, you have to remember that whatever happens in this show that bleeds into the Batman 2, people who are watching the Batman 2 without having seen the show have to understand what's going on. So it can't be anything super crazy. Now, Victor being Victor Zaz, I have a video on that you can check out here. But for now, I want to discuss him being somebody else. Victor Aguilar. At the end of episode six, we see that Penguin was successful in getting power back to Crown Point. And in that moment, we see Frances Oz's mom singing and dancing with Victor, celebrating the success that her son, that her boy had. And then the camera slowly tracks back and we see Joker. We see Sophia Gigante standing there with a crowbar a la the Joker. And you're, all you think of is something bad's going to happen. But there's a, a look on her face of disappointment and disbelief. Almost like she has to do something she doesn't want to do. So what is she going to do? Well, that, we're going to find that out. I have a video teeing up episode 7 you can check out on the channel. For this video, though, I think something bad is happening to both of these characters obviously but mostly i think something horrible is going to happen to victor i think we all know where francis is going at this point but victor is a character who you don't really know right i've been speculating for a while obviously i said jason todd but i think penguin is going to kill him in the final episode of the series for whatever reason but i've been getting a lot of comments about victor surviving and what victor could be and a couple people mentioned the name red hood and i started thinking does that make sense I will say on the surface level, I don't think it does. I don't think this universe could have a character like Red Hood show up. I don't think a character can die and come back from the dead in the Reevesverse. That being said, what if the character doesn't die? I also don't think Joker is going to beat down Victor. And I don't think Sophia Gigante is going to do that either. I think the Penguin is going to have his way with young Victor. Look, everything you hide about me. It's true. But what if he doesn't fully kill Victor? What if he just beats the shit out of him and leaves him for dead, knowing whatever pain he's in is far worse than death? And Penguin leaves his protege bleeding out on the streets of Gotham. But his protege doesn't die, right? He gets up, gets himself cleaned up, fixed up, whatever. And he decides from what he's seen from this show that he maybe learns a lesson and decides, hey, I've got to clean up Gotham now. I'm going to be like that guy that they don't mention on the show, the Batman, and I'm going to be a vigilante, and I'm going to take these criminals out one by one, and he dons the red hood. I could see this character of another vigilante in the Batman 
running around under the guise of the Red Hood. If you think about it, the Dark Knight does something very similar where they have fake Batman at the beginning of that movie. They interact with Scarecrow, right? There's that whole sequence. I don't wear hockey pads. I'm not wearing hockey pads. You know what I'm talking about. This is relatable in the Reeves verse. It could be plausible. You could have someone, a false vigilante, they could call him, running around the streets of Gotham, and it's Victor donning the suit, being this red hood. You don't need to know what it is. They might not even have to call him the red hood, but he could wear a red mask, red hood, whatever. And that's the way it could be. So I could see Victor becoming the red hood in that scenario. And I don't see him dying and then coming back from the dead. I don't see him being called Jason Todd or anything like that. I just think that he could be beaten so bad and left for dead and he could come back he could wake up you know get help somebody might even find him and get him help and then when he comes to he's like you know what uh, i've got a tip i got to put a stop to penguin and what's going on and that could be his whole play right there that is all obviously just speculation based on the comments that i saw in the comment section which i love reading if you got a comment let me know in the comments down below i read and reply to all of them i really appreciate them there's so much fun to talk to penguin from this point on i am a gigante And this is a new family now. And that brings us to Sophia Gigante, who I thought from the start was going to die at the hands of the Penguin in this series. But as it's gone on and progressed, I felt that could be wrong. I did a video based on rumors that she has a big part in the Batman 2 and that there is going may possibly be a second season of the Penguin. And in that video, I really discussed how she was going to wind up in Arkham. That obviously remains to be seen. I still kind of feel like Penguin might send her there somehow, get her back into Arkham. I told you I'm Either way, I don't fully believe that she's going to meet her end in this series. She might make it into the Batman 2. She might not. I really hope she kind of does at this point. Not only is the performance phenomenal, the character's great. On so many levels. How can you not like this character? Such a great antagonist to an antagonist. But imagine Batman having to go up against Penguin, Sophia, Joker, Riddler, whoever else he brings in as well. We know that Gotham is the villain of its own. Possibly Hush, possibly even higher up with the Court of Owls going on. There's a lot happening in this version of Gotham. And Sophia can play right into that. And obviously her connection with Catwoman with Selina Kyle would make it even more intriguing and they have that connection within the comics already established and I would love to see how that plays out how you have the daughter the legitimate daughter of Carmine Falcone or the late Carmine Falcone with the illegitimate daughter of the late Carmine Falcone and what their interactions could be and how they could relate with the comics and their comic counterparts that being said I also believe that Sofia Gigante could take up the mantle as the hangman killer. She could actually, by the end of the series, become the hangman killer that she was framed as at the beginning. She's already kind of doing that. We're seeing the gang members being hanged all over Gotham. And she might actually, by the end of this series, come to the conclusion that I am the hangman killer. Watch out. And case in point, look at this tweet from the Penguin official Twitter account. You can't hide from the hangman it's almost like it's her birthright at this point carmine my, uh, you know what there also might be a twist coming that she was always the hangman killer and carmine knew it carmine killed her mother and she was going to the press about it and he put her in prison for that and she was the hangman killer because there is a 10-year gap where the hangman killer doesn't really do much criminal activity because they still believe that she's a hangman killer so that could be so unless i'm misremembering let me know in the comments but i i think you know There is a loophole there that could make it that she was always a hangman killer. But either way, I think by the end of this series, she's going to adapt that mantle. And she's going to be the hangman killer leading into the Batman 2, if of course she survives. And that could even be how she gets put back into Arkham. They could find out that these gang members that are being hung are from the hangman killer. And that could put her right back where we saw her at the beginning of this series. Either way, we have got two episodes to go. The last episode, the second last episode is coming up very soon. It's called Top Hat. I'm hoping the finale is called Monocle. It's not. It's it's not the it's not at all. But it would be fun. But anyway, the penguin is coming. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love talking about it with all of you. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.